Hello viewers and welcome to my new video. Uh, this time uh, I've decided to talk to you about motivation. So you may be surprised uh, why I've chosen this subject, but you know what? I've recently been working on my new album, uh, as I have already mentioned in some of my other videos. Uh, you know, and I've been uh, going through various stages of the recording. Uh, you know, I was firstly working on uh, setting up the drums on the Easy Drummer, uh, and then I recorded all the bass tracks uh, for my tunes, uh, and then I proceeded uh, into recording the guitars, um, and then and then I, and then currently I'm 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 working through the vocals. Um, you know, but it's, you know, it's been a, a long process and, you know, I actually started writing these songs or majority of these songs uh, last year and it's taken me well, probably uh, 12 months or over 12 months from, from the actual, you know, um, concept uh, when I started sort of writing these songs and putting them together. Uh, to the actual realization of them, you know, in the studio when I actually started, you know, properly recording them, you know, previously I did some demos, uh, but that's all they were really, just demos uh, and not not, not for, um, you know, wide, wide release. Um, so it's really, you know, and this is the first time uh, that I've actually been working sort of on my own uh, without a band, so it's just me. Um, working on everything uh, it, uh, so uh, from from the initial uh, songwriting uh, the song concepts uh, through to the recording of everything and the production you know so no one's actually giving me any advice whatsoever you know on the production side uh, all the arrangements uh, and everything else uh, so this album you know is truly kind of the you know uh, work of one person i suppose at this moment in time at least you know i may uh, decide to invite uh, some other people perhaps to some collaborations uh, this might happen uh, perhaps on one of the songs but at this moment in time it's all just been uh, me so i've decided uh, you know whilst i'm still working on the album uh, to talk to you about uh, how to stay motivated uh, when you work on your own uh, you know, because I thought that uh, this subject actually doesn't just apply to music, you know, it could apply to anything, uh, say, uh, you know, writing a book, uh, you know, or, or working on, on, on anything really, you know. Uh, so I hope that many of you will find value uh, in, in this video and of what I've got to say. And these are just my techniques uh, in terms of uh, what I've been using and what I resource to uh, you know, to fuel my motivation so I stay on track uh, when I work on a project like this. Uh, you know, and there's been some tough moments, and I'm, I'm not going to lie, that, you know, sometimes uh, things can go wrong. Uh, sometimes you may spend, say, hours on, on doing something, and then in the end it turns out that actually it doesn't sound like you wanted it to, or uh, you didn't set up the equipment correctly. Uh, you know, or you've made some other mistakes uh, accidentally along along the way, uh, and it you know may, may contribute to the overall frustration. You know, and and sometimes you may be feeling like, oh my god, you know, I just want to give up, and you know that's it. Uh, I just want to you know sort of throw the project in the bin. Um, you know, and I've myself have had those moments. Um, so I've sort of been thinking about what are the things that or techniques and methods that I've been using throughout uh, and I've listed uh, 10 uh, items uh, so today I would like to share them with you. Uh, item number one on my list is determination. Uh, so this is what I believe uh, strongly that you need to have that determination uh, you know to stay on track uh, you know, I think I think you need to have that uh, almost in your personality, but I think you can learn that as well uh, to to actually be that determined that you are going to reach that goal, and no no matter what happens, uh, you need to have that mindset uh, that you will definitely get there. You know, no no matter how many obstacles may lie uh, in front of you along the way, uh, you will get there. Item number two on my list, uh, I've I've entitled belief in your uh, project uh, you know and, and, and ultimately what this means is you've got to have the belief that 
whatever you're doing uh, is worth it you know so 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 you know so it has to be worth uh worth your while uh you know if you begin doing something that you think actually it doesn't make any sense i don't understand why i'm even doing this uh you are not going to get there you're not going to get to your destination so you have that you have to have that belief uh in in what you're doing item number 3 visualize the end goal so this is something I do quite a lot. Uh, so any project I sort of approach, I have a vision uh, of what it's going to look like before I even begin working on anything whatsoever. So in respect of this album, uh, you know, I've already had a vision from the beginning. I knew uh, what the concept of the album was going to be. Some of that obviously developed uh, throughout. Uh, so some some of the ideas have have been added along the way, but the, the overall concept was there from the start and the overall vision, uh, and I know what I'm sort of going towards, uh, and you know in the eyes of my imagination I can already see uh, the end result. Uh, so I, I already know that it's worth it be because I already you know it's like I've already seen it. I know where I'm going, and um, you know so I know when I get there it will it will be it will be something that I am. I am happy with. Item number four, take small steps and celebrate small accomplishments. This is really important, okay? Because if you're working on a really big project like this one, uh, like recording this album, um, things will take time. And, you know, I've, I've got the, recent, the most recent example about uh, recording of the vocals, for example. Where you know it's been taking longer than anticipated, you know, and I've I've had to sort of because actually I've experienced something that I've never experienced before because uh, when I worked with bands in the past we used to have rehearsals, regular band practices, and I would be able to practice those vocals, and that kind of led me to uh, recording them, and they were all sort of you know rehear well rehearsed. Whereas this time, I just wrote the songs, I wrote the lyrics. I had the overall concept of the vocal melodies in my head uh, and then I kind of attempted to uh, deliver those vocals straight away onto the recording uh, you know and I, then I discovered you know I need to practice a little bit before I actually do that so you know so I had to take a step back um, but in terms of taking the small steps and, and celebrating those small accomplishments uh, it's about you know say that you set yourself smaller goals uh, for for each day or for for a cup, couple of days whenever you have the time to work on your project uh, and the moment that you've done them you actually celebrate them so you know for example you know I'm, i may have set myself up to record five songs uh, today but i've only managed to do two and that's all right, you know, I think that's a fantastic accomplishment in the end of the day. So don't go too harsh on yourself, but also take those small steps and make sure that you celebrate those achievements. So actually, look, I've recorded a bass for the first song. That's an achievement. That's one step uh, further towards my uh, overall goal. Item number five or advice number five. Uh, you can actually write a project plan. OK, so for those of you who are, who are really well organized and like being organized, this this tip, uh, I think, will uh, resonate with you. Uh, I actually did this uh, when I was in Sonnet 13 in my uh, most recent band. Uh, we, when we initially put the band together, I actually did write a project plan for what we wanted to achieve in year one and then year two uh, of the band. And actually, that was very, very helpful because I put uh, proper time scales on it and, and deadlines. Uh, so, for example, uh, we had time scales around uh, when we're going to record our first album, uh, when we're going to mix the album, master the album, uh, the deadline for releasing the album. Uh, we had uh, ideas around uh, music videos and when they were going to be published. Uh, you know, and that really helped because that helps uh, to keep you on track uh, on whatever you're working on. So you can actually one one it helps with those celebrating those 
smaller accomplishments, like I said before, uh, because you can tick them off your list and it's like, it, it makes you feel like you are actually getting there. Uh, so, so it adds to your overall motivation. Item number six is about breaking it down into manageable chunks. So what I mean by that, I previously said about taking small steps and in a way it's the same thing, maybe saying it slightly differently. But what I actually mean here is that sometimes you may accidentally overburden yourself, you know, because you, you, you may just want to do too much in the time that you've actually got. Uh, so let me give you an example. So if I... Uh, Say if I'm at work all day and then I come to uh, shoot one of these videos or I'm working on my album and I'm, you know, spending, say, majority of my evening uh, trying to record something. Well, that actually can take significant amount of my time um, when maybe I just need some, you know, time for some relaxation as well and some, you know, some me time. Um, also to wind down, uh, re-energize, recharge my batteries. So what's really important when you're working on a project like this, which is sort of uh, long term, um, is to just maybe devise yourself specific chunks of time in which you will be working in. So this is actually something that I've recently started doing. So for example, if I start recording uh, my vocals, and for example, I don't know, it might be seven o'clock in the evening when I start. I might say to myself, all right, no matter what happens, uh, when I see nine o'clock um, on my on my computer clock, I'm just going to stop. So no matter what, uh, what amount of work I've done up to that point, uh, whether I'm happy with, you know, what I've done, not happy, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm only going to spend two hours today working on this. Uh, and I've, no I've noticed that that really can help, uh, you know, with the overall process and, you know, that you don't burn yourself out at, at the same time because it's, you know, you can sometimes end up uh, working till uh, very late uh, because you, you're not happy, you're doing another take, then another take, then another take, for example, on the guitar and you're not happy so you just carry on and carry on and carry on but sometimes it's really good to just really break it down in in terms of the time that you spend on something and actually say to yourself no today i'm only going to work on this for two hours or one hour or half an hour even depending on what time you may have uh, depending on your responsibilities your uh, account accountabilities outside of whatever you might be working on uh, so yeah, uh, just use your judgment. What's really important as well is when you break it down in terms of your uh, manageable chunks of time is that you do them often, right? So, so say that you decide to do less, spend less time uh, on it, but then make sure that say you do an hour each day or every other day and you stick to it, okay? Because that will keep you on track as well, you know? So you will, you, because it's too easy uh, to say to yourself, ah, you know, today I'm tired or today this is happening or whatever. I'm not going to do anything today. I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it, to, I'll do it the day after. And then, you know, things can really slip and delay. So to keep you on track, make sure that you stick to your uh, agreed time scales. Tip number seven, Time yourself, so time your activities, you know, uh, become familiar with how long things take you. Um, and I think that will help you with estimating your time scales as well and how long something is going to take, is likely to take. Uh, and the more you know it, the better, because uh, it will just be so much easier uh, to estimate and not to get frustrated by not getting... Uh, to a certain place by a certain time that you thought you would get there. And to be honest with you, what I would say that with every project that you work on, uh, the likelihood is that it will take longer than anticipated. Tip number eight, stay positive. 
This is very important, okay? Nobody has achieved anything through negativity. So the moment that you become negative um, about anything, it's it's very um, it's a very sort of um, demotivating and in a way destructive energy. So you definitely want to stay positive no matter what, and it kind of I suppose goes together with that with that determination that I uh, talked about at the beginning. Uh, but yes, always try to have that positive mental attitude uh, towards everything that you do uh, and towards your projects. It will definitely take you further and and you will get there quicker because your positivity will carry you through and it will carry you through uh, any problems that might occur along the way. Tip number nine. When you get frustrated, take a break. And again, this is extremely important. How many times have I done that? The... I got frustrated, you know, for example, again, this is a great example, recording an album. You do a take after take um, and, you know, sometimes I just will accidentally, you know, play a wrong note, just one note for the entire take um, <laughs> and that can really frustrate me on occasions because I'll be like, oh my God, you know, I've, I've almost got to the end of the song and I've played something wrong and I just need to go back all the way back to repeat it. You know, this this is also due to the fact that I ca I really like to do it that way, uh, to actually be able to record the full take from start uh, to finish, uh, rather than trying to recall just uh, say a single riff and then just sort of copy it and paste them uh, across, uh, because I know that some some bands record in this in this fashion, and you know, uh, it depends sometimes. When it gets to that point where you really cannot nail something, you know, so many, so many times, uh, maybe uh, on occasions in the editing stages, you may want to um, resort to some of that. But overall, I would say that uh, my preferred option uh, is to record a, a, a song or a take of, of a specific track from start uh, to finish. So when you get frustrated, uh, just take a break because the worst thing is, the more things don't go your way, the more frustrated you can become. And it's then like a vicious circle, really. Uh, so what you want to do, if you are working on something, something's not working your way, not going your way, you get really frustrated. You try again and try again and try again. It's still not working. Well, maybe that's the sign to call it a day um, on that particular day and return to it uh, the following day uh, and that's what i would advise you to do because you will feel completely different the next day when you wake up when you when you sit down uh, when you start doing your project or working on your project again you will feel a completely different a fresh energy and actually something that uh, seemed you know like a huge mountain uh, might just you know, seem insignificant or, you know, you might have been working on something for five hours by the time that something started going wrong. Um, and, you know, maybe you are fatigued by then, you know, you know, uh, tired. And it seems like you're going to spend another five hours, for example, to finish it off. But when you when you start the following day, actually, it might turn out that you only need half an hour to actually finish something off. So yeah, when it gets to that point, stop uh, and uh, get back to it uh, the next day. Last but not least, be kind to yourself. In the end of the day, um, it's only you, you know, if you are working on a project just by yourself, uh, you need to give yourself uh, that kindness. Uh, you can't go uh, too harsh on yourself. You know, it's good It's good to be, uh, you know, sort of demanding towards yourself and thinking that, you know, I, I want to be a perfectionist. I want uh, my project, my, the end result, uh, to be uh, as perfect as it can be. But sometimes you've got to take it easy on yourself and actually realize that, you know, you, you, you will get there, um, you know, sooner or later. 
So as long as you keep going and you stick at it and you take those breaks and you uh, time yourself and you organize yourself really well uh, that keeps you on track, you visualize your end goal, you know where you're going, you have that belief and that determination uh, in, in whatever it is that you want to achieve, I can guarantee that you will get there and that that motivation will stay with you. So I hope that some of these uh, tips and some of these techniques that I've been uh, resorting to, you will also find helpful. And uh, please uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel, because the more subscribers I get, uh, the, the, the more uh, my channel is being promoted out there on YouTube and the more uh, people uh, will get to see my videos. So it really helps me uh, with growing and developing my channel. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.